raging. Like many of you guys, I would imagine, coming up to this point, you were scrambling around to find your idea of what to do the demonstration speech on. And it was wonderful seeing all of your guys' ideas from food to catheters to <laughs> anything in between. So it was so much fun. So for me to come up with something, my mind was racing. I was thinking, oh, I can draw, but I'm not good at drawing. Oh, I can do magic. I don't know how to do magic. But I finally came on to one idea that I feel confident enough to show you guys how to do. And that is American Sign Language. Now, I'm in American Sign Language right now for my foreign language. And it's grabbed me. It's hooked me. And I think I might even take a level two class because it's so much fun. And it's such an interesting language. It doesn't or originate from a certain country like French or Spanish. It originates from America. And the person that came up with it, his name is Thomas Gallaudet. And he came up with this to talk to his friend's daughter, who was deaf, and she had no way to communicate to her friends. So he thought that he would come up with the language to help communicate with her and speak to her. And that's where American Sign Language comes from. He would later to go on to be called the father of sign language and the first ever deaf school for kids, the re a residential school deaf for kids, would be called Gallaudet University. And from there, everything would branch off. So today, I will show you how to fingerspell the alphabet and how to string that together for an introduction like I showed you at the beginning. So everyone, I'll show you how to place your hands and how the correct way to do it for each one is. So everyone, let's get our hands up, around, our middle, not too far down, not too far up, not too forward, not too back, just right here in the middle. And we'll start off where everything starts off with an A. So the A is like this. It's like a fist, but your thumb comes out to the side. A B hand shape is a flat hand shape with your thumb right in the middle. And you'll be using a B hand shape for a lot of things. A C hand shape, you just make a C with your hands. It's fairly simple. A D hand shape, you can imagine it like you're making a letter D like this, one finger up and the rest curled in. E hand shape is a fold, is like this, with your thumb down. I've seen other people do this, where they curl other fingers. I personally like this because I find it more comfortable. F is just the OK side. And you want to make sure that you don't get D and F confused. Learning level one, I get it a lot. I, when I'm trying to sign something, I go like this, and I mess up, and I correct myself. You want to make sure you get that correctly, because when you're trying to sign out duck soup, you don't want to accidentally put an F where the D is supposed to go. <laughs> G, G and H are special exceptions. Beforehand, you would always have your hand facing forward. But starting with G, you'll have your hand facing sideways like this, like you're pointing to somebody else with your thumb going up. H is the same as G, but it's two fingers and your thumb comes down to around your middle finger right there and you hold it still like this. I. You have just your pinky up and everything else curled down, like just a lowercase i or an uppercase i, straight up. J, you take your i, you keep it with an i, and then you curl it like a J, and you have it backwards. K, it's kind of like you do just a V like this, and your thumb kind of comes onto your middle finger as shown. L, you just make an L with your finger. M, three going down like this, like you're doing a lowercase m with three bounces, it kind of comes down like this. N is the same, but it's only two, so you have your thumb right there in the middle. O is kind of like E, but bring it all the way around like this. You could have it just so it looks like an O right here. O and E, also I get confused a lot because they're so similar, I'm trying to figure out which way I have my E's and O's, but I've seen O's go this way, or this way, it really all depends on how your preference it is. P, so you start with the letter K, and you bring it down forward like this. Straight ends like this, so it's just a K, but bent down. Q, so you take a G, and you just bend it down like this. So it's coming down your thumb, and your pointer finger are both pointing down to the floor. R, you take your middle finger and your index finger, and you curl them like this, 
with your thumb coming right here. S, you just make a fist, like this. T is like M and N, you go like this, but it's down here in the first one. U is also like R, where you have just your two fingers up right here. V, V, it just, you make a V with your fingers. W, just a W with your fingers. X, you have your finger kind of curled out like this. Y, hang 10, you hold it out like this. And Z, you just do a Z in midair. So you do, start up here, you go like that. So now that I've shown you the basics of the alphabet sign language, I will show you how to string it together into an introduction. So when I showed you the introduction, I started out going like this. This is mine. You could do, I've seen people do my, or mine, or I. It doesn't matter. I like doing like this because it just sounds more English, my name. So I go, I start out like this. So you do my. For name, you do two H fingers, and you tap them together. Your dominant side taps your non-dominant finger twice. So it's my name, and then you finger spell out your name. Mine's fairly simple, A, J. So it's pretty simple like that. But more intricate names, you can start finger spelling out crazy things. <laughs> and then if you want to go crazy, you can do your last name. What you do is you get two I's, and then you take your dominant, and you strike through your non-dominant I like this. And then you go ahead to finger spell your last name. So stringing it all together, it should look like this. So today, I told you a bit of history behind sign language and how it came to be here in America. I showed you how to fingerspell the alphabet and how to string together to make an introduction for yourself when introducing yourself to others. Thank you.